field to take on the Wildcats of Northwestern. These guys were hyped up before the game as they started their pregame warm-ups. Let's jump right into the action. It's Purdue taking on the Northwestern Wildcats. After a quick four and out, Northwestern looking to make the first splash. A deep connection from quarterback Ben Bryant to A.J. Henning should do the trick. Northwestern in enemy territory. Cam Porter finishes off the drive, finding the wide open gap. Wildcats get on the board first, 6-0 after a failed two-point conversion. With no Hudson card, the Boilers went to a heavy run game. Tyrone Tracy making a statement with this one. He pulls out the spin move, and the Wildcats finally bring him down. But at the start of the second, the Boilers couldn't convert this drive into a touchdown from the goal line. This wasn't the only missed opportunity from the goal line this half. Quarterback Ryan Brown dives in for the score, but it's called back, saying he was down at the half-yard line. Northwestern gets another goal line stop. The Boilers are still scoreless. Purdue goes into the half, down 6-0. to The third quarter didn't start well for Purdue either. TJ Sheffield muffs the punt, and the Wildcats get on top of it. This sets up a field goal and three more points for Northwestern. That must have been a wake-up call because Devin Mockaby makes a big catch downfield in traffic. This one got the Boilers amped up on the sideline. Purdue marches down the field and Tyrone Tracy says, I'll take it from here. He breaks through multiple tackles and finds himself in the end zone for the first Boilermaker touchdown of the game. He finishes the game with 160 rushing yards. Purdue still trails 7-9. Northwestern comes down the very next drive, makes their own magic happen. Cam Johnson makes a nice move, and it's off to the races from there. Nobody's gonna touch Johnson, and Northwestern goes up 15 to seven. To make matters worse for Purdue, it's Porter with a breakaway run. He finds himself in the end zone for the second time today. Northwestern up 23 to seven. Here's when the script flips. Dylan Thieneman gets the pick, and Purdue is going the other way with it. After a massive run from Tracy, it's Maccabi finding himself in the end zone with three minutes left in the fourth. Purdue down 15 to 23 after the two point conversion. The Boilers on the verge of a comeback, and they find themselves with the ball in their hands in the final 30 seconds of the game. Then this happens. Northwestern closes this one out with a game ending interception. They become bowl eligible, and they beat Purdue 23-15. to Maccabee says the slow start is what hurt the team in the end, but they were able to fight back. You know, there's, there's no doubt about us and our team and that we have all of the will to fight, and we will do it to the last minute because there's no other excuse to do anything other than that. Boilermakers fall to 3-8 and eight on the season, but they'll have a chance to redeem themselves at home next Saturday against Indiana University. Reporting from Ryan Field, Vinny Mortarano, Sports 18.